Welcome everyone! Welcome to the first ever battle report for the Contact Lost podcast. So it's not going to be a podcast anymore. Well, it's first, but not the first. Well, <laughs> it's the, the, the first that's going to work because uh, it's actually the second attempt. The first one failed miserably, but what can you do? We're learning. We're, we're, we're working on machine spirit issues. Exactly. That one. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, listen, guys. Uh, first of all, let me introduce the newest addition to the contest. Contest. Contact Lost team, Vitalis. Hello, guys. All right. He is our new member. He's got. You're going to hear his voice more often on the podcast, and uh, he also has an amazing man cave where we can record our our battle reports. So you're going to see that quite a lot, I guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, today we are playing a 2000 point game, uh, Tide of Conviction. Uh, so, we're playing Chapter Approved Missions, of course. We're preparing for a tournament that's going to take place at the end of June. Uh, so, yeah, the standard, standard uh, 2000 points, WTC standard. Unfortunately, we don't have exactly the, the table like we would play it at WTC because we are working on our terrain base and I lost my terrain, I don't know where it went. But, um, we have the table ready, so in a moment you'll see what it looks like, because we will be talking about the armies. What did you bring today? So, after, uh, on the previous bottle report that we failed, <laughs> uh, I tried the new Imperial Knights, right. and we both remember how it ended. Uh, it was a total disaster from my side. So, today, uh, well, what can, what can Imperial do when his uh, Imperial Might fails? I turn to Chaos. Uh, so, today I'm playing uh, Chaos Knights. Uh, with the with the new codex also, so uh, I brought uh, an abominant. Uh, well, first of all, I'm House Hesperax. Uh, currently, I think that's one of the best houses, uh, both with the iconoclast buff and with the bonus wounds. Uh, so I got an abominant with uh, objective secured with arch tyrant, giving him uh, another world trait that is uh, our of dread. So maybe against Tyrant it's not the best uh, to give them another uh, dice to, to morale test. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also works on threat tests, so we will see. Uh, he got his, uh, his signature power, I think, that right now wins of the work, so that is mm -hmm. his film of pain. And I also got the uh, Vortex Terrors, that is another power that will uh, debuff one of your units with both uh, leadership and uh, ballistic and weapon skill. So my another second, uh, so yeah, my second big knight uh, is the uh, Desecrator. Uh, he is aligned to Nurgle to give him some sort of sort. Five of Yeah, <laughs> sorry. So uh, he got bonus uh, bonus save against uh, damage one guns, and also he potentially will uh, raise to nine toughness. And also he's got a uh, Hesperax uh, trait that is bow to none, so I don't care about the forests, I don't care about uh, minuses to w uh, WS and BS, uh, I just shoot. And uh, talking of shooting, he's got Diamonas, that is the uh, Relic Laser Destructor, so he's got 3 shots with bonus strength and bonus AP. Uh, other than that, uh, I brought some more shooty units uh, in the form of uh, one squad of three executioners with the Mirror of Fate Blessing on one to generate me some uh, CPs. Uh, one Stalker with Melta and Subjugator Machine Spirit, so he will behave like a Titanic Knight falling back from combat. And my favorite unit in the new Chaos Knights Codex, the Carnivores. So these guys are 140 points each and they are crazy. So I hope they will show what they can do with the Helm of Dogs and the Blood Shield. So yeah, they, they, they seem to be able to decimate pretty much anything they touch. So yeah, ba yeah, basically, yeah. So your turn. So, so Vitalis' army brings absolutely everything to the table. Uh, so I... I brought my Tyranids. Uh, I don't know why, but I tend to lean towards Leviathan all the time, even though the majority of the Polish uh, Tyranid scene, so to say, they, they tend to play Behemoth. But I like my Warrior Spam. Today, the Warrior Spam is a little bit um, dumbed down, I would say. So, from the beginning, I have 60 Warriors, 60 down. 
it's not 60, it's just, what, like 15? No, 17, uh, 16. So, you know, it's, um, I usually play 21, so... Okay, uh, come on. okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, starting from the HQs, um, I have a Neurothrope with a Resonance Barb. I'm still thinking whether that is actually necessary because she casts pretty strongly on her own. But as you could see in the, the latest the, uh, late night week, when I showed you the list at the end of the episode, I tried to maximize whatever the Codex can give me and maximize the chances of casting spells. So here it is, the, the Resonance Bar on the Neuro Trap. She also has the um, uh, Warlord trait that allows two units, not one, but two, to cast on three dice, pick any, which is uh, extremely powerful. Then I have the typical High Tyrant, with a Reaper of Obliterax, with uh, Adaptive Biology, so he has 5 up to the pain and he spreads mortals when he fights. Uh, and then a less, um, less uh, popular choice, Trigon Prime. Uh, it's the first time I'm playing with him, because I usually take another Tyrant, I take a Broadlord, that I also mentioned in my, uh, in my latest, latest video, so check it out if you want to know what for. Today, Trigon Prime. Trigon Prime, who will have uh, Alien Cunning, I think, is the, the world trait, so he will count as five models and he has Opset. And I, I've given him the relic called Seer Hive, which I really, really, really wanted to try out. And uh, as this relic allows a unit to auto wound on any hit roll, I decided that I'm going to pick a model that has as many attacks as possible. So 12 base, 3 plus. Sounds good. We'll see how it does. So that will be the HQ. And then I have 10 Hormagants, 9 Warriors with 3 Venom Cannons and rest Death Spitters, Double Bone Swords, uh, 7 Warriors, pretty much the same combination, just one... No, sorry, they don't have Venom Cannons. Um, one of those units is going to be in Deep Strike together with the Trigon, because there is a stratagem that allows them to come from reserves together. Uh, so that's part of the tactic. And then I have what, an Exocrine, a Trusty Harpy, uh, and three Carnifexes, all with Enhanced Senses, so they shoot on 3+, plus. <coughs> Venom Cannons, and Crushing Claws, because I just think that this weapon is awesome, and I want to see how they decimate knights, so we'll see how it, how it pans out. Um, all of that is Leviathan, so all the Toughness 7 or Toughness 6 models will have Transhuman uh, still, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. All right, guys. So uh, you've seen our lists. You now will see the table in a moment. But first, let's see who gets to start. Ah. Me again? <laughs> the same story as always. I'm sorry. Okay, so your first movement phase. So, Twigs, Tyranids, movement phase number one. So he performed a beautiful movement block with the Harpy on my carnivores. Uh, the warriors planted a banner, giving themselves on the shot from my knights. Carnifexes, move forward. Zoanthropes. Uh, Did banners. Yeah, also. Uh, little guys, banner. Also, uh, as we mentioned, we have some terrain issues, so this part here is uh, loss blocking. Yeah, you cannot see through that. <laughs> yeah, and also all the ruins are up to the sky. Yeah, so. so everything that you see on the table, so this, this, what, whatever you see, it, it reaches up to the sky. So basically you can hide uh, and, and yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, the Harpy gave four mortal wounds to one of my carnivores, the one with the blood shield. And so, yeah, that's that's the movement phase number one. So we are proceeding to Psychic. Tweak, up to you. Exactly. Okay. So uh, there's not going to be a lot of it because um, I don't have a Mala Scepter this, uh, this game because I know perfectly what it does. It's very strong. I wanted to test before a tournament, so I didn't take it. Um, so the Psychic power that I'm going to cast first is with the Neurotro. On three dice, I'm mm -hmm. going to try and cast Catalyst on to the warriors and I get it without a problem that's fantastic and then uh, can I do anything else do I want anything else uh, I'm not gonna charge so I don't need onslaught uh, I cannot really benefit very much from uh, from 
uh, Hive Nexus. So that's going to be it. That's, that's actually mm, everything that I need. So I'm going to mark it in the moment that they have Catalyst with my fancy little uh, pieces of paper. Catalyst is the Feel No Pain, right? Catalyst is the, the Feel No Pain, right? Yeah, okay. And I really don't need any other spells right now. So um, with the Hive Tyrant, again, uh, I'm playing quite passively because I'm afraid of those nasties back there. So he's hiding in here for now, waiting to see what happens in the next turns. I'm generally, apart from the Harpy, Harpy I'm, uh, I'm rather playing safe. So yeah, uh, that was it. That was the, the psychic phase. I don't really have much more. Uh, so onto the shooting phase right now. And first, I'm going to shoot the Harpy into the Melta guy in the back. So the Stalker. Right. So I'm gonna try and... Uh, uh, do I want to pop anything? That's how many shots? That's six uh, high strength, high damage shots. And then I think I'm gonna pop the, the, the weak shots also into him. Just okay, so I will, for one CP, I get eight CPs, I will drop to seven and give him minus one damage. Minus one damage. Yeah, okay. so go ahead. Okay, fine. Do your worst. So first, uh, the big shots with the Harpy. Uh, go on, go off on three plus. Oh, that's a horrible, a horrible throw. And then uh, three, seven. So strength nine, three plus again. Yep. So those are two hits, two wounds, and uh, AP. AP three. Three. So on my ion shields, and that's one going through. So that's four damage. So dropping to three. So he's still on. No, 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 but I was shooting the guy in the back. The, the, the ah, yeah, okay. So that one was healthy, so he's three down. So did, are you activating the stratagem on him then? Yeah, on the one you were, you were okay. shooting, yeah. Right, and then the uh, eight shots remaining. Mm -hmm. Shooting to him, three plus. Right. And then that's strength five, so five plus. Mm -hmm. And that's nothing. nothing. Yeah, all right. But the Harpy is doing great work uh, move blocking the, um, uh, the, the the little knights. That's fantastic. So we're going to move on to the Exocrine now. So that's D6 plus... Sorry, that's 6 plus D3. Into Oops. which one? The only one that she can see. This one. So, yeah, that one. Uh, you've got Carnifax's left. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty that's it from your shooting. So I will pop... Uh, Demonic Shields, whoever it's called right now, for 1 CP, I will give him 4 plus invul. 4 plus invul, okay, yep. fine. So, uh, the additional D3 would turn into 3, so that's 9 shots. 3, 6, 9, hitting on 3 plus. Mm -hmm. Am I shooting through the forest? I think I am. Yeah, definitely. So hitting on 4 plus. Oops. So, that's not perfect. That's 3 hits, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, that's strength, I think, eight. Yeah, so on three pluses. Three plus. so, so that's two. two. So my ion shields upgraded into four plus. And that's pretty much nothing. That's pretty much nothing. Can't be already done. Oh, is it three or is it four? No, 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 it's, it's, it's one. It's one. one yeah. It's definitely one. Definitely. Uh, give me a sec. That is damage three. Eight damage, four, three. damage three. So he's got six in. Yeah, okay. So that was that. And now on to the Carnifexes. Uh, yep. So we pre-measured this. They should be in range. That front one should be in range to be able to shoot the guy in the back. And then the two guys in the back should be able to target the guy in the front. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how we are going to, to shoot it. So Bring first, the pain. This guy got reroll ones to hit from the High Siren. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be three shots hitting on threes. Minus one damage if you're shooting the same minus one. Minus one damage. Yeah. Okay. Real running ones. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, it's for three forest? Hits. No, I don't think so. Uh, th this one I don't think so. Yeah. So it's three hits. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, well, three plus, I guess. Yeah, strength nine. Ooh, and that's pretty nice. much everything. Yeah. So. AP4. Yeah, I am shields again. Five pluses, please. Wow. So yeah, it's inch. Okay. That's good. That's good. Singe loves me today. Yeah. Uh, so that was him. And now the other two. Uh, yeah, I'll start with the one in the back. Mm -hmm. Three shots. Three plus. No, sorry. Four plus. 
Into this one? Not, yeah. not obscured. Three plus. Not obscured. So, two hit. Mm -hmm. And three plus. Two wound. And uh, iron shield. Five plus, please. That's pretty much nothing. So that's four damage each. That's four damage each. So he would be still alive and still getting shot by one of those guys. That's exactly what's going on. Uh, you haven't spent any CPs? Not yet. So no, I should have seven. Yeah, I will spend another one. Nah, I won't. Uh, so that's gonna be six damage. Eight, eight. eight damage. So he would will be on. Uh, he's got four. Twelve or thirteen. He's got. He's left on two. I will now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. twelve in. Okay. So moving in, moving on to the the third one. The third one, just trying to finish off this little guy in the front. Uh, probably gonna get a minus for shooting now. So four plus. Mm -hmm. So two hit. Mm -hmm. And three plus. And, and that's just one. Let's hope that this is enough. Yeah. So, guys. Uh, yes. No, I, don't, I will try no, to no, reroll no, it. No, yeah, no, I will. No, I will. Nope. Yay. Uh, yeah, will he explode? Nope. No. So the carnivore with a blood shield is gone. Okay. Um, so these guys. Uh, the banners, they won't shoot, nothing else will shoot. Uh, at the, I, you didn't mention that at the beginning of, of the turn, I activated invulnerable saves for everything from the Zoanthropes, so the whole army now has invulnerable saves. And that's the end of my turn. And I took uh, what I have to do, take uh, of the turn one, so uh, Doom. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so as we agreed before the game, uh, as we are playing uh, rules as written, so uh, my knights will start the Storm of Darkness action actually in Twig's morale phase as the codex uh, is not specifying in which morale phase you need to start it. So uh, the Desecrator will start uh, performing Storm of, uh, Storm of Darkness on this objective in your morale phase. And what does it do again? Uh, basically, uh, if I perform it at the end of my psychic phase, it gives me three victory points, and this objective will get twelve inches aura of minus one leadership. Okay. So that's the I think the first secondary objective that's actually interacting with the game itself. That's meaningful. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, I don't think we mentioned the secondaries uh, at any no. point that we've chosen. So I went with banners, as you probably figured out, with stranglehold and bring it down. So, right now, I have three banners down, uh, I'm on three objectives, so I'll be getting points for Stranglehold. We'll see how the banners pan out, and I killed one small knight, which is good. Moving on to knights, movement and psychic. Alright guys, and we're back after uh, movement of the knights. So, the little guys over here moved up, jumped on my objective. Unfortunately, I only have one model from the Hormagamp unit, so he's stealing that one. Then the rest tried to move up. We did our measurement and wanted to see if this guy can get on the objective, but unfortunately the distance was too big and the harpy did the job really well blocking the movement. Now, the rest of the knights moved up, took some objectives, so uh, they are starting to control the table. Now let's see how the shooting goes. Yeah, so first we'll start with the psychic phase. Oh, there's nice Knights just... got psychic phase. Oh my god. Yeah, so... Uh, this guy, unfortunately, I fracked up. Uh, he has no splite. Do you want to correct that? Mm, if I could, yeah, sure. Because I think he has, he had this two inches of movement. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he will start with the winds of the warp. So that's his feel no pain. Right. And if he cast it on eight or more, those two guys will also have the uh, the feel no pain. Right. And also, I forgot about one stratagem. I'm just checking if you're within 18 inches from from my tyrant, so I can give you minus one to cast. Okay. And I think I can. Uh, yeah, I forgot about one stratagem. Yeah, use it. We're, so we're practicing. So I will use so. the long leash. I think I need to. Yeah, uh, I will use the long leash on the, the spoiler. So that's one CP stratagem to give his aura to one of the war dogs irrelevant of distance. Hmm. So this guy has aura from the, the spoiler, that is reroll once 
to hit mm -hmm. uh, in shooting. So let's start with the with the abominance. So I will start with the winds of the warp. So you're sure. saying I have minus one to cast. Yep. Okay. So that will go off on I think seven right now. And that is a four. Yeah. Uh, do I need it? What does it do? That's feel no pain. Oh yeah, you might need it. Yeah, and I think I need it, so I will reroll re -roll this one. And yeah, it's off. So it's a seven. Yeah. So I can try to deny. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So that's a seven. So I need an eight. Pretty much you do. That's an eight. Mm, yeah. God damn it. I'm sorry. Uh, so the second uh, second uh, psychic ability he has. I need to check if the Vortex Terrors need to have line of sight, but I think they need to. So we did some psychic checking. Uh, so, apparently for the Vortex Terrors I do not need to have line of sight, so I will try to cast it on his Tyrant, as we measured and his in 18. So that's gonna be cast right now on 6. And it's off already, whatever happens. Yep. So, your Tyrant right now has minus one to leadership and also whenever he will try to shoot or attack he needs to pass the Dread Test, even if he's not in my Dread Aura mm -hmm. or he will get minus one to a uh, weapon or ballistic skill. So yeah, that's my uh, uh, psychic phase, so let's start with shooting. Uh, so in the shooting, let's start with the obvious thing. Uh, Desecrator into your Harpy. Right. Be gone. Uh, so hitting on trip... Uh, 4 plus. No, 3 plus. Because he's got bow to none. I ignore all the modifiers. Okay. So, 3 shots from the Amalas, all on target. Uh, I guess he doesn't have toughness 9. Toughness 7. Yeah, so on 2 plus I wound you. So, that's gonna be 2 wounds. Uh, how many wounds that this thing has? 13. Okay. Minus right. 5. Minus 5 AP. Yep. Okay. And you got uh, you got four plus in vulnerable. Well, I don't think I do because I need to be in synaptic range if I'm not mistaken. Let's check the rule really quickly. What do these zoanthropes give us? Uh, four plus in vulnerable, but I need to be within six inches of a synapse model. And since I didn't turn her into a synapse model because I wanted to get greedy, um, then she's going to suffer all that damage. So she's dead. So she's dead, okay. Uh, D3 plus 6 each. D3 plus, plus six. 6. So that's at least four. So I can minutes. try to reroll one of those dice to make her survive it. My dice? No, my dice. Oh no, sorry, I don't have any saves. So, yeah. I don't <laughs> so, I don't. so she's just dead. Okay, let's see if she explodes. There goes my move blocking. Yep. Right. Uh, but she it did its job. And there she goes. And there she goes. Steady as she goes. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, carry on, carry on. Nothing to see here. Uh, let's go with the Abominant. Uh, so he will shoot everything into your warriors. So let's start with the Heavy Stubber. Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna spend two CPs to uh, give them damage reduction. Okay. So yep. let's go. Uh, four shots with the heavy stubber. That's gonna be, I don't think, minus one. The forest. No, no, no. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's clean. Uh, so three plus. One miss. Uh, toughness five. Toughness five. But so, transhuman four. Uh, five strengths. So on four pluses. And that's gonna be three wounds. No AP. Three wounds. So these guys now have. They're 5 plus invulnerable. Mm -hmm. What was the AP on that? No AP. No AP. So, got so yeah, 4, four, four plus. plus yeah. So that's one saved. And, and this is one damage. Yeah, one damage. So 5 up, feel no pain. So one wound. Mm -hmm. And 6 shots from his Volkite Combustor. And all target. Mm -hmm. uh, small transhuman, right? Big transhuman. Big transhuman. There is a sign up. They are a sign up unit, so they get a big transhuman. So I'm wounding you on four plus, and each six are gonna be three mortal wounds in addition to the normal damage. No sixes, please. Yay. Yeah, but three wounds. Uh, AP minus one right now. 
minus one, so it's oh, still five up. Still five up. Yep. So one save. Uh, and damage. Three each. So two. Yeah. So that's the first one. Uh, Feel no pain. Yeah. yeah. He's good. Yeah. And the other one. And he's still oh alive on one God. wound. So that was, that was bad. That was bad. So he's on one, left on one wound. No, that was very good <laughs> drawing from that me. Okay, so the stalker, uh, the stalker will shoot his melta into this first carnifex. The gray one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's stubborn into the warriors. So right. Remember that he reduces damage by himself. What and do they do about it? Yeah, and that's it. So let's start with a stubber. Uh, I think that's gonna be. Yeah, it's clean. Okay. So at least one model is clean. So, uh, does he have the rerolls from the Abominant? Nope. So, 3 plus, nothing. Uh, well, 2 hits. Uh, and on 4 plus, just one wound. No one AP. Wound, no AP. AP. So, 4 up. And yeah. it's good. Okay. And the Melta. 2 hits. Uh, toughness. Toughness from the current effects. Yeah. Uh, seven, but it's. Uh -huh, transhuman, yeah. No, 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 wait. He doesn't have transhuman because he's not. He has uh, small transhuman? Okay, so we did another checking and we will be wounding the, with the smelter shots on 3 plus. So that's gonna be two wounds. Minus uh, melta minus four. Minus four. So I'm yeah. saving on sixes. Nope. So that's gonna be D6 each. Oh my and that's god. That's 11. That's 11. He doesn't have any. So he reduces damage. So that's 9. That's 9, so it's still I perfect think, for him to he's, die. He's just um, and I guess I don't have any means of protection, so does he explode? Nope. But close enough. Right. Farewell, my friend. You did well. It. Okay, so the executioner into the gray carnifex in the back there. Okay. So let's see how many shots. Uh, and let's see if the stubber has range. Because if not, I will shoot the stubber into those immortal warriors. It has range. But I'm still gonna shoot the stubber into the warriors. So let's start with the stubber. Mm -hmm. uh, hitting on trees, wounding on fours. So that's gonna be two wounds. No AP. No stopper. AP, so 4 plus. Yep. Good. Perfect. Uh, okay, now the auto cannons into the carnifex. Let's see mm -hmm. how many shots. That's gonna be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We got 4 dice here. On 3 plus. Rerolling re -rolling once because of the despoiler. Mm -hmm. Desecrator, sorry, around. And that's gonna be 6 hits. Toughness. Toughness seven. So on four plus. And three wounds. Mm, wait a second. No, he's not in the helm of Dog Saura. So four wounds. Uh, three wounds, yeah, sorry. Three wounds. AP minus two. AP minus two, so saving up saving on four up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so not that's so bad. That's gonna be three damage. You're so two damage. Two, yeah. uh, okay, carry on, carry on. Let's go. So this guy, does he see the warriors? No, he does not. So everything into the painted carnifex. Mm -hmm. Let's start with a stubber again. Uh, he is definitely within range. Yep. So rerolling once. So that's gonna be two hits. Wounding of fives. That's gonna be two wounds. That's nice. No AP. No AP. So saving on two plus. Mm -hmm. yep. And he's good. Okay. And the uh, autocannons, how many shots? Oh Jesus, that's gonna be just six shots. Uh, hitting on trees with rerolling ones. And wounding on fours. Just one? Be just one wound, minus two AP. Minus two, so four. Yay! Okay, and the uh, last. Uh, oh Jesus. This guy, I forgot about the favors. <laughs> yeah, uh, so let's count this. Uh, this guy has a favor of Slanesh, the subjugator machine spirit, and we have to mark him because he killed a Carnifex by himself, so he's definitely favored. 
uh, the the separator kill, kill the, the harpy. harpy. So he is favored, and I think that's it for now. Yep. So we will mark those two guys as favored in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, so this guy, he rolled how many shots? Six. Six. Yeah, I got six dice in hand. Uh, so three plus. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. Yep. No ones. Yeah. So four hits. And he's shooting at what? Sorry, at the current mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's gonna be three wounds minus two. Far up again. Mm -hmm. None this time. So and six damage after reductions. Six damage. Okay. And I think that's gonna be it for my shooting. I don't think I will perform any charges. No, definitely not. Uh, so yeah, this guy performed the Storm of Darkness on this objective, so I got three victory points. Mm -hmm. uh, three. I definitely have strang Stranglehold. One, With two, three. three. Yeah. yeah. And uh, bah, 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 bah. I killed two of your monsters, so <laughs> that's gonna be another three points. I think. From. Bring from the Carnifex, it, but the from harpy. the Bring It Down, or yeah, from the Bring It Down. Uh, Two for the Harpy and one for the Carnifex. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So overall, six points for the Chaos Knights. Well done. Yeah. It's pretty even now. Let's see how the Tyranids retaliate. So guys, uh, round two, Tyranids movement. Warriors moved forward from the objective. They advanced, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, those warriors on top are actually on bottom. We just didn't have, didn't want to dig in there. Uh, the tyrant finally found some courage in his buggy mind to move forward. He found his sword finally. Yeah. Uh, current effects hiding behind the building. Uh, zone drops move forward. The hormagons finally realize, realized, hey, this guy is stealing our objective and move forward. And the exocrine is trying to finish one of my carnivores. All right, one last thing that I need to do at the end of movement is bring my units from oh, reserves. Yeah. Right. Go, go ahead. So. so let him think and I will say what I popped as uh, harbing Harbingers of Dread. So basically I chose Darkness. So Tweak, uh, right now, if he wants to charge me, shoot me, or whatever, he needs to pass a Dread Test. Uh, so each of his units, for those guys of you that don't know how those new abilities work, each of his units that is within 12 inches of any of my knights, so basically most of his army right now, uh, need to pass a Dread Test. So basically his leadership, minus one, and he needs to roll uh, lower than his leadership. Or his units cannot uh, shoot what they want. They need to shoot the closest target uh, if they fail this test and they uh, will halve their charges. So actually uh, we found out the hard way. I found in my games that halving charges is pretty, pretty strong. So actually, uh, by pure coincidence, I pretty much locked a tweak from his burrowing up with my war dogs. So maybe those seven war dogs were not such a bad idea. So he's really brainstorming how to drop those guys to do something relevant right now. So actually he found his spot right in front of my war dogs and the desecrator. So we will see what will happen. So psychic phase. Yeah, so, uh, most important stuff. I'm casting on three dice, and I will be casting on three dice with her and with them. Uh, that's decided in the command phase, but I'm mention explaining it now. By the way, I um, activated the imperative to, uh, to have additional, I mean, plus one to cast, plus one to deny, and uh, five plus against uh, female pain on the entire, uh, sorry, against uh, mortal wounds uh, on the entire army. So what do I want to cast? I want to go with the Neurothrope and I would like to cast firstly Onslaught on the unit of warriors that advanced. So let's see if that goes off. And it goes off definitely with plus three now. I'm not gonna deny it even. Uh, good. Now I would like to use the um, psychic power from Leviathan, so Hive Nexus. 
And what this does is it allows me to pick a unit and then pick another unit within synaptic link range. And I can give that, that first unit the imperative of a synapse unit. So I'm going to take their imperative, so 5-up no pain, uh, sorry, 5-up um, invulnerable, and I'll try to give it to the warriors. It casts on 7, and it's definitely in with the 9. So that's the, um, the newer trope. Now I'm going to move to the zoanthropes. The zoanthropes are going to smite, and they are going to smite into him. Mm -hmm. So on three dice, choosing whatever I prefer, and plus one from the imperative. So that's a big smite. <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna deny it. All right, and the big smite damages for iconic two plus three, which is five. Okay, so why a plus three? Because there is there are three of them. So oh, I get plus Jesus. one to, to damage and plus one to cast for each. Yeah, one so five damage into the executioner. So I guess he's dead this turn. So the high tyrant now is going to cast. First of all, we'll try uh, psychic screen. Mm -hmm. And it's a peril. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll. Because mm -hmm. I really want that spell to go off. And it's definitely in. And this Four. one I will uh, try to deny so with my so Abominate. Eight, right? Sure thing, let's go. And that's also an 8. Yep, so you don't deny. And this goes up for 3. Yep. So he's on 8 right now, so he's got Six remaining. Right, and then the High Tyrant is also going to cast. Um, actually, he should cast something else. Uh, but he's going to cast Smite into the little one. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't go off because it's the second. No, sorry, it does. No, the second Smite. Yep. So and it's a six because I have a plus. Ah, you got plus one plus yeah. So it goes off for just one. Just one. Okay. So he's on five left. Right, and that's all my casting, so now the shooting. Uh, you used a command point to reroll the smite, the pearl. Correct. So my mirror fates on 5 plus will give me a command point back. And no. Okay. So, do we want to record the shooting? Because it's going to be a lot. Go ahead. Okay, fine. So, um, I'm going to start with the exocrine and the exocrine is going to shoot into this guy mm -hmm. so six plus d3 uh no 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 uh he's the closest target anyway so yeah it's fine mm -hmm. so it's three so nine shots again mm -hmm. four uh do i want to pop anything that's the only thing that's gonna shoot him right because they they may shoot him uh yeah the current effects is i don't think can see him uh I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. That's four damage each. That's three damage each. That's three four. Okay, so three. I will pop minus one damage on this guy. Okay. So on four plus through the forest? Uh, yeah. And that's not so bad. Like this. And then. Three plus. Three plus. That's. Four that go through with AP four. Mm -hmm. So onto the ion shields. Five plus, please, and that's gonna be six going through. Mm -hmm. So he would be dead if not the Herpetrax house. Right. So he's on one wound left. Two. Two wounds left. Yeah. Okay. The small guys got two bonus wounds. Okay. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, now uh, let's do some more shooting. How many wounds does he have? Uh, eight left. Eight left. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot the first Carnifex mm -hmm. into him. And I will give him four plus invulnerable. Okay, uh, so this will be three shots. Mm -hmm. uh, is he the closest targets for the Carnifex? I don't know. No, he's not. 
Which means I cannot target him. Uh, you need to pass a dread test on the Carnifex. Okay. And Is let's... That on Two dice, three dice. Uh, uh, let's measure if the current effects are within the dread okay, range. Okay, tell me what to, what to measure. And then uh, we'll... Measure if the current effects are within 12 inches of any of my knights. No. This one is not. This one's gonna be. This one, yes. Okay, so, but the, it's this, this one. This one is not. Okay, so you just need to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm shooting on. I forgot to give myself rerolls. I think I was out of uh, reroll range anyway. Or I might have been in the beginning, but I didn't do it. So on. Uh, Fours. Go ahead, reroll those. Fours. So that's two. Reroll that one if you want. Let's okay, assume you get nice you. you. Okay. Oh, that that's didn't change good. a thing. Uh, uh, two. Yeah. Two. And oh, then three, three plus. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, okay. And the other one. Um, I think I'm going to shoot into the. the uh, do I want to shoot the same guy? I don't think I. Yeah, from the tail you may... From the tail I won't see him. Yeah, but you now you definitely need yeah, to pass the dread test. And if I don't pass... If you fail, you need to shoot the, the closest guy, yeah. On two dice? Uh, it's on two dice. He was not within 12 inches of the Abominant. So on two dice and minus one uh, leadership and you need to roll lower than that. So they have leadership six. So now five, so you need to roll lower six and six and up. Uh, no, uh, five uh, down. Five and down, yes. <laughs> Yay! God damn it. I, can shoot I mean, I don't know if it's good. He has four up and vulnerable, so, you know, but three shots. Mm -hmm. And this is three plus because I'm shooting. Yeah, myself. that's clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So two hits. And then three plus. I'm, yeah, not, that's, supposed, that's I'm not supposed to, to hit today uh, or to wound today. All right, so that I, uh, I still need to shoot with my trigon. Mm -hmm. And with my dragon, I'm going to shoot into him again. He's the closest target anyway, so... He's the closest target anyway. So he has, I think, 12 shots. Is he also auto-wounding on the shooting phase? No, 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 that's, that's in combat. <sighs> but let me quickly look. Uh, I completely forgot how many shots I have. Trigon Prime. Eight shots. Go uh, ahead. Strength five, AP two. So I just need to strike a hit. Six, eight. Three plus. So that's a lot of hits. Mm hmm. Without one. And wounding on fives. And wounding on fives. That's gonna be three wounds. Yeah, that's not so bad. So. AP two. Yeah, upgraded ion shields. And that's two going through. So how many damage? Just one. Uh, I mean one per each. One per each. So two more onto this fellow. All right. Now these guys have onslaught on them. Mm -hmm. So they are el eligible to shoot, uh, and they will shoot into this guy. Uh, let's measure if he's the closest for all of them. I think yeah. Here he's the closest unit. I think so. Yeah. So, so this unit of nine is going to shoot into him. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with the three venom uh, yeah. cannons. The thing that's relevant. So three d three into him. Mm -hmm. Ah, here. And that's just four yeah. shots. I like it. Uh, three plus because onslaught. Mm -hmm. um, right. I don't have rolling ones. And uh, strength eight, so three plus. Mm -hmm. And so that's gonna be two. two three. And that is. Let me quickly recall. I think it's at least AP two. The Venom Cannon, AP three, yes. damage two. Yeah, Iron Shields, let's go. And nothing. Okay. And then uh, six Death Spitters. Mm hmm. So that will be 18 shots. Mm hmm. Six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, and 18. Break it. Uh, three plus. So I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna pick the, the good ones. <laughs> because there's fewer of them, I think. Maybe not, but was a one and four in here. 
And that's five. So and that's, that's just, just two. two. So AP two, damage one. AP two, damage one. So Iron Shield again. And he saved both of those. Saving like crazy. Okay, so the other warriors, uh, can they see? Uh, how do we treat this opening? It, it's it's uh, not there, right? If you're inside, you can see. So I'm inside with this one, I'm not inside with this one. Mm -hmm. But now you need to pass the red test because those guys are the this guy is the closest and you're gonna shoot him anyway. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I have two venom cannons there. So it's no, sorry, I removed them. I removed. So I only have death spitters. So it's going to be twenty-one shots. Bring it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and twenty-one. Hitting on three plus. Mm -hmm. uh, roll this one. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I need five. You yes, certainly do. Just four of those. Yeah, I'm not good at rolling five. Oh, sorry, there's five. But not very good at rolling five today. Still, it, it's not, not going to be enough. And he's rolling right like crazy. Yeah. So just two damage in. Mm -hmm. So he's got three left. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think that's the shooting phase. I don't have anything else. That was not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're still alive with everything, so... Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so, now, what's gonna happen is first I'm gonna spend the CP to allow... First of all, I should have spent a C CP for the, uh, the warriors to enter with him. Okay, so, so I will try to gain my CP. That was, was one CP? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so nothing. And now and I'm gonna spend another one to... Uh, to allow basically anything charge him on three dice. Okay, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. try to get my CP back. Yay! So four CPs for mm -hmm. me. Okay, so let's start the charging phase. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna charge the Trigon mm -hmm. into that guy. Okay, so first the dread test, please. So the dread test is it's on two dice. Uh, for this guy, yeah. And it needs to be what higher than Le lower, than, lower than your lower leadership. So he's got ten, I think. Yeah. So nine. So we need to roll. Ro 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 uh, yeah. So that's higher. So uh, we're halving my uh, my charge range now. Yep. That's nasty. Okay, yep. so he won't make the charge definitely. Uh, so I'm left with the warriors, uh, and the warriors also need to pass the dead test. They also have leadership ten down so to nine. nine same so story. Yep. So they they, they can passed, charge. Yeah. And now they will be charging on three dice. Mm, I'm thinking about do I want to overwatch them or do I want to keep it? Yeah. No, I want. Okay. So I'll be charging. Uh, hopefully, the both of them. Both so of them. It's the same distance. Uh, it shouldn't be the same distance. This one is at least one inch. No, it's uh, nine. Yeah, it's nine. Nine inches from Okay, us. go ahead then. So, looking for nine. That's and not I a nine. I get it, so I'll try to reroll because it's quite crucial. I already got my CP. Uh, so, wait, wait, wait. If you are gonna charge this guy also, mm -hmm. I will try to overwatch, but first roll your okay. charge. And, and this is in. in. Okay, so let's see how I will spend my CP. And let's see how many shots from the autocannons. That's gonna be just five shots. Mm -hmm. Hitting on sixes. Uh, uh, he's in the. Yeah, with ranged attacks. It's ranged attacks, so I can reroll all the ones. Mm -hmm. And oh, still nothing. Successes. And the stubber, rerolling once, still nothing. So wasted CP. 
Okay. So I rolled a 10. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move this now, and I'm just going to fit in. Go ahead. So guys, we'll just move the models because it's going to take a while. Okay guys, so we have charged the warriors. So the tyrant. The tyrant is going to go into both. So the tyrants need to pass the leadership on minus two because he still got vortex terrors on himself. <laughs> right. So on minus two, so, so below eight. eight. Yep. That's eight. That's eight. So you passed. Okay. Uh, so he's charging both of the guys. Mm -hmm. Easy. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, I think he will. He will do it. I think it is five. Five should be enough. Yeah. So five is in well enough. So I'm going to jump five inches to here. And now the warriors are going to try... You should be a little... Uh, yeah, sure. So oh. Correct it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the, um, the warriors are going to try and charge... Uh, do I want to charge both? This will be a longer charge. They still need to pass the dread. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, do I want to risk it? Nah, the warriors are going to charge just him. Okay, so Dread test online because they don't have the terrors on themselves. Right, so let's see. And yeah, they passed. Mm -hmm. And now the distance of a charge, which is like four inches. Probably. Yeah, I think something like that. And yeah, they have they, a nine. They did it. So what I, what I need to be careful about is your uh, heroic yeah, intervention, intervention, which is six inches. I think it's six. So two, four, six from this guy from here, or maybe it's three and six from the from the strat. Are those wounds or what? Yeah, those are wounds on this on the on this guy. Okay, so, so he's on th three left. Yeah. Move them here. After thinking right now, I think it's uh, just three inches, and the six is from the stratagem for the small guys. So it's normal heroic on three inches. So I can move. Yeah, I think deeper. yeah. Okay, so oh, sorry. If I'm if I'm wrong, guys, please correct me. <laughs> okay. If I just played myself. And I rolled. <coughs> yeah, I rolled a lot. So I'm gonna step into here. Step into here. These guys are uh, on the floor, not on the. Yeah. Uh, but they will on the first form floor. a nice second row. Yeah. So here. Here. Half inch to half inch. So yeah, all, all will hit, but it will be overkill for this one. I think so. Yeah, uh, the trigon didn't make it. These ones are not going to make it, definitely. Uh, there, I would like to charge the exocrine through the forest into the guy. Same story, drug test, please. What is the leadership of an exocrine? I have no freaking idea. That's not an often asked question, I guess. It's leadership seven, so, so on six. six. Yep. Uh, that's uh, so that's no. halved and minus two. Ah, uh, these guys should roll on three dice because he's got aura of dread. I forgot about it. So they want to reroll that? No. Okay. I, I will remember after losing such a thing. Yeah. And Tyrant also should low, uh, roll a tree because he was within 12 inches of the big guy. Okay. Uh, my bad, my bad. Uh, so uh, the Exocrine Queen is now... Half hot. and minus two for the forest. Okay. Fantastic. So good luck with that. All right, so still, uh, let's try. That's a seven minus two, that's... So uh, do you half before? I have no... Uh, I think you halved the roll. I may check it. So it's three and a half minus two. So we checked this charge. So Twig uh, actually got inch and a half of charge right here. After counting the forest. So he's definitely not going in. That's fun. Mm, okay. So... How many attacks does he have? Uh, that's the one without the Helm of Dogs, so if you charge him, he will have 6 attacks. And he got the profile of Sweep that he can go to 10 attacks, and if I spend a CP, he can go to 15 attacks. Uh, sorry, 18 attacks. Great. <laughs> so he's pretty capable of wiping those guys. 
And they are not very capable of wiping him. Uh, I think that. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna stay there. Uh, oh, there's one more dude. In here. Um, right. Alright, so those are my charges. Now where do I start? I think none of those are combat ones. This one this is. one is semi-combat. He's got the sword. Okay, so... These are not very combat Those teams. are not. Um, so I'm gonna start with these uh, warriors then. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pile in. Yeah, go ahead. So I'll pile in here. I'll move closer here. I cannot fit like that, so like this. Here. Here. Like that. Mm -hmm. So all will hit. So these guys have uh, four attacks each. Tyrannic warriors. Three plus one for the bone sword. So four attacks each. Go ahead. And that's how many of those? Uh, there's seven of them. So I'm going to divide those attacks. Yeah, for I'm sure. Have does he still have like invulnerable save? No, they got no no invuls. Not a single invul in combat for okay, me. Okay, so four are going to hit that one, and three are going to hit that one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go with the three first. Sure, go ahead. Mm -hmm. right, I'm gonna move this here. Yeah. So we're talking about three pluses. And that's okay. Strength? Strength 8. So on 3 plus. That's a nice roll. Okay. So that's 7 AP, AP minus AP2. So on 5 plus from my side. Uh -huh. 7 saves. That's 5 dice. That's 7 dice. Let's go. And I'm gonna save just one. So how many damage? Two each. And this was into this no, guy. No, no, it was this, into this one. Into this just one. Three guys hitting him. Okay. Uh, so he's dead. I think so. Does he explode? He can. Yes, he will. Well, automatically. Yep. Right. So um, I'm thinking if I should not save it here because here explosion is also nice no but he will he will, will damage my abomin on this by exploding so this guy will explode cool. so that's gonna be d3 ah that's not worth it so let's, so let's yeah okay nope no explosion okay and then the four guys into the other one two three and four I forgot that they have toxin sacks, so six, six is auto wound, so now sixes will auto wound. So there are two sixes. Mm -hmm. And then the twos are fails. And then I need to roll these as three up. And I missed four. Okay, so five, seven sides so, again. So these many. So six. Eight. So eight this time. Okie dokie. So also five ups. And that's a bit better. Mm. And he survives. So that's eight damage, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so he's still alive. Okay. So do I want to pile in? Uh, no, I'll stay as I am probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave them like that. Okay. Uh, moving on. I'm not gonna interrupt you. Okay, so I'm gonna hit with the warriors. And it's gonna be a lot, uh, because there is nine of them. And uh, this guy is on this just... This one kind of fight. He's on three wounds, should I just yeah. remove him? That, just check yeah. if he explodes. Yeah, I think it's, it's viable. Nope. So he's down. So I'm actually gonna pile in now towards the nearest model. So 
So I'm gonna make your movement a little bit more difficult because I'm gonna go. I don't care. He, this guy can go here. I don't care. He cannot be move blocked. I can just oh, go. Oh, you can just go. Yeah. Around. But you cannot finish your move on me. Nope. And he goes eight. Ten. Ten. That's a nine inch thingy. So. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, these guys will move closer here. Closer here. They does not have any bodyguards or anything, those warriors. No. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, and now he is going to uh, kill this one. Uh, I mean, hope. Uh, he's got damage. So, first of all, He's got damage three mm -hmm. or even four. Mm -hmm. That's mistaken. pretty important. He done okay. So he has a Reaper of a Bitter Axe, um, which is a monstrous bone sword. So that's damage three. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought he has damage four, but okay. Damage three uh, does mortal wounds, and now I will do two things. Firstly. I'll do mortal wounds to you on the charge. Okay, I will try to regain... Haven't you regained already? I okay. don't know, I can do In it. In round two? I think I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna be on one uh, command point. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna... Do I want to do mortal wounds or do I want to give him more attacks? Um, so he has five base. Alright, so I'm gonna be doing mortals to him for 1 CP that I've already uh, burned. So, how this works is I roll a die, and on a 2, 2 to 4, it's 3 mortal wounds, on a 5 plus, it's d3 plus 3. So, that's uh, 2 to 4, so it's 3 mortal wounds. Just flat 3. Flat 3. Okay. Alright. So, he's got 11 left right now. Alright. And now. Uh, with the Reaper of Obliterax, I'm gonna hit with my... First pass a red test on minus two, to see if I lowered your... Am I still minus two to... Yep, because you're in dread range and the Vortex Terror okay, is... Eight or lower. Yep, yep. so Good. you got normal. Right, so I have my five attacks. I have more attacks. I don't think so. Yeah, that's five. Yeah, five attacks. So, um, on two plus. Mm -hmm. Re rolling ones. Two at one. Yay! And now these will wound. He has. Uh, sorry, I wanted to. That's why I was asking about the damage. I wanted to reduce the damage of those attacks. Okay. For uh, CP. <laughs> okay. Let me just read the Reaper really quickly again. So each time an attack is made with this weapon, if that attack successfully wounds, the target suffers one mortal wound, in addition to any other damage, and you don't have anything that protects you. Nope, not on this guy. <clears throat> Even if he would remove it. So we're fighting now with strength uh, 8. So on 3+. Plus. <clears throat> it's even more strength. I don't think you got 14. No, it's 11. Still 3+. Plus. And I get to reroll one. That's and still it's one. A horrible, horrible roll. So just one mortal, right? Yep. One mortal and AP. And AP is four. Four. So uh, I do not get a save. I think three plus four plus five plus. Nope, no save. So two more damage to the little guy. So he's still alive. That was horrible. Yeah, indeed. Um, yeah. So my turn to fight you back. Exactly. So let's start with this guy. Mm -hmm. So he's got four attacks by default, but because of the Iconoclast, I get one bonus. And those attacks will have one AP. So hitting on uh, his half, so hitting on force right now. And that's gonna be two, two hits. And wounding you on threes. On fours. Because I have my transhuman. Uh, I still got big transhuman. So just one. AP minus one. AP minus one, so that's five up. 
And that's one loop. Yeah. And the same story here into the tyrant. And he's even not halved, but it doesn't matter. And uh, toughness, seven, six. Toughness of the tyrant, seven. Seven, so on five ups. And that's one, also minus one AP. Minus one, so four up. And he's good. Okay. So I think okay. that concludes the round two for the Tyranids. So that concludes it. So I have Stranglehold. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have just... Oh, I, I forgot to put the banner in here. Can I do it? I oh, know. Yeah, I can because there's more of me. No, uh, I cannot because, you can, yeah, because I'm... S right. So there I'm anyway. on, on two banners still. Mm -hmm. And I killed two little knights. Uh, points. Yep, you killed two little knights. Mm -hmm. So, back to you after my movement. Okay, guys, so the movement phase for tonight is done. The, the two big guys are encircling the prey, we could say. The little helverine thingy didn't move out from, uh, from combat, uh, but that one did. And that one will spend two command points to shoot after fallback. Right, so the only thing he can see uh, are the warriors. Yeah. And these two guys, like this this little guy reshuffled a little bit, and this guy came closer through the forest to the Exocrine, but it, the forest didn't mean anything because he had way more movement than that. Okay. So, yeah, let's on go, to the second phase. Yeah, so, uh, first of all, let's go with the most important. Uh, so let's go with the Funeral Pain for this guy. So casting that on uh, 7 right now. Because the tyrant is still alive, that's not going in. And the second thing, I will try to cast the terrors of the warp on the warriors this time. And this one definitely goes in. Mm -hmm. So that's wait, that's nine. After your minus, that's minus a nine. nine. So now I can deny, and I have plus one to deny. What can I do at all? Oh, so I'm. I think I'm gonna deny with. It doesn't matter, that's my last psychic power. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, the Neurothrop, I guess. Uh, so, let's see what we roll. And it's not a denied, okay. so, so you've managed. So, the warriors are debuffed. And let's go to the shooting phase. So, the thing that mm, is most interesting for me. So, the Desecrator, uh, with his Diamonas Relic gun, will shoot the Maulok. Uh, the Trigon Prime. Trigon Prime, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, he's hitting on 3+, plus right now. Wait, uh, no, he has Transhuman. I cannot really give what him anything else. What is the interaction else. between Transhuman and Bow to None? What? I, th I think it works. What does Bow to None do? Ignore all the modifiers and everything. I don't think... I think transhuman your Transhuman wins, because I, it's yeah. irrelevant of any rules. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, hitting you on trees. Do you have anything? Like minuses to hit? No. Okay, let's go. Boom. Uh, so that's gonna be two hits. I uh, just got one command point. And I need to keep it. So now four plus, please. I need to wound both for him to die. So he's dead. Because that's minus five and it's gonna be seven damage at least each. Uh, I forgot to mention that you have one, minus one to hit, but I don't think it changes anything. No, I don't care because that one he definitely ignores. Okay. He, he ignores all the modifiers. All right, so I just lost my, lost my trigon. Yeah. Uh, that's a shame. Does he explode? I don't know if it matters, but it, he does. It, it might matter, and that's uh, definitely the warriors. And I don't think uh, you know card effects. As I don't think. Quick look at how he explodes. Uh, on a 6+, plus, the closest enemy unit within 6 inches uh, suffers enemy. D3. Okay, so nothing. The closest enemy unit, yep. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, so nothing. <laughs> I didn't even know uh, it works like that. I forgot to declare the... the... Yeah, go on. So, into the warriors. The stubber. And that's everything in. Uh, wounding in 4, so that's just 2 wounds. No AP. No AP, so 4 up. Mm -hmm. That's so, one, 1 wound. So this guy will be mm -hmm. on two. Okay, uh, so let's go with this fella. Uh, this fella will shoot the only target he can shoot, so the tyrant. Well, he can shoot the warriors. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, right, so the, the stubber. And 
it's gonna be hitting his uh, he's not bracketed so he's gonna be hitting on fours mm -hmm. uh, no this one's gonna hit on three because the sabre is assault I think but it doesn't matter uh, so wounding you on fives and that's a four so nothing mm -hmm. how many shots from cannons two five hitting you on fours uh, he's within the aura so three hits and toughness seven yep so on fours uh, that's nothing okay this guy uh, mm -hmm. He's bracketed on the first bracket, so he's gonna shoot the stubber into the warriors. Uh, Reroll, hitting all fours. Mm -hmm. uh, two wounds, no AP. So four up. Mm -hmm. so, so one dies. One more is dead, and the cannons, the main dish. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be three six shots. On trace, three rolling ones. Mm -hmm. So three hits, wounding you on the uh, force because mm -hmm. transhuman. Yeah. So that's gonna be just one minus two. So six up. Yay! Whatever. Uh, so these guys both gonna shoot with the stubbers into warriors. Okay. And uh, this one is bracketed, so I will shoot him. Separately, uh, so he's right now shooting on five ups. Yeah, he's on last bracket. Nothing, and the healthy one. Uh, four hits. Are you shooting through the forest? No, I'm out. Okay. And he's wounding on fours, rerolling ones because he's got helm of dogs. So with just one wound into the war. HP one. No AP. The no same AP. Star versus four up. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the Abominant! Yeah, the one warrior was wounded here, I think, on the last wound. Uh, yeah, the purple, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever one. Uh, mm -hmm. So the stubber will go into these guys. Right. And the combustor will go into this... Carnifex. No, into this, actually. Yeah, the broken one, okay. Yeah, because he's wounded. He's on three left, right? He's on three left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one six and he's going to it. Okay, stubber. Uh... Three hits, two wounds, no AP. So, so one, one wound. Dies. Yep. So I'm gonna take this one because he has a different base. And the combustor into the carnifex. Right. And I think I'm shooting through the forest right here. Yeah, you are. Yeah. So it's gonna be on four ups. Of course. Why not? And one six, please. Mm, that's bullshit. Uh, he's got the transhuman. Uh, does he have transhuman? No, because he's not a sign up so unit. That's, that's he has small transhuman. So that's gonna be one wound on minus one. So three up. Three up. And of and course he's he saved it. Because why not? Uh, that was my shooting phase. So charges. Uh, so let's go with the obvious. Mm -hmm. Into the tyrant. Yeah, he's in. Mm -hmm. He's uh, not even looking in that direction. <laughs> what disrespect. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, the abominant to this current effects. Uh, we pre measured that that's gonna be an 8 inch charge. Yeah, the including the forest debuff. Yeah. And he makes it easy. Yeah. Easy Lee, even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go again. So this guy into this one, so mm -hmm. that's gonna be two inch charge. Yeah. Uh, so he's got six. So we also pre-measured that I can charge this guy and still be on the objective. Uh, I think I'm below one inch there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're good. You're good. And this guy. Yeah, also from the into the little one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot interrupt. So uh, feel free to. Yeah, feel Great. free to. So let's start here. Mm hmm. Uh, now I'm thinking he's got three up and four up in wound. And transhuman and five up in no pain. And five up in no pain. So, actually, my friend, I will go. He's got four attacks right now. He's got fifth attack for charging. I will turn that into the sweeps. And for one CP, 
I will make my sweep attack with the chain sword. Uh, being times four, not times three. So he's actually got twelve attacks right now. Okay. Hitting you on twos. Okay. There is nothing I can do about that. Yeah. So let's go. Some ones, good. So good. that's gonna be 70 hits. 17. How many? <laughs> 17, my friend, 17. Uh, Transhuman, so. One. Wait, why 17? You said 12. What happened there? 20. He's got 5 attacks. Uh huh. Four, four from the base. Uh huh. Five from a uh, fifth from the from the charge, and uh, I'm using the sweep profile. So it's times four. Okay. It's times three actually, but I'm using using chain sweep for one CP, making him times four. Okay. So that's uh, sorry, not twelve, twenty attacks. Uh, so seventy in, seventeen in, and wounding you on fours. Uh, that's terrible, actually. Yeah. So it's terrible tyrant versus terrible knight. Yeah. Uh, so, my friend, that's gonna be uh, seven invulnerables. Because that's AP a lot. Yeah, so seven invulns. So, that's a lot of invulns. So, two go through. What's so, the damage? Uh, two each. Two each. So, I'm just gonna roll four for the female pain. Tell me he's a monster. Please tell me he's a monster. He is a monster. Because I could just trample him for one uh, CP if he would not be a monster. Uh, okay, so uh, five of field of pain. Uh huh. So that's so be three wounds go through. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. That's not what I expected actually, but that's not a rampager. Uh, you cannot interrupt me. So let's go here. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got five attacks. Sixth because he charged. Six because why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I will make that. Uh, I will make that also times three. No, sorry, that's a small chain sword, so that's gonna be times two. So uh, he's on last bracket, so he's hitting on fours right now. Mm -hmm. uh, wounding you, I guess, on twos. On threes because I have small transhuman. No, I don't, because I'm not within yeah. si uh, science. Uh, we've rerolling once. Woo! So that's gonna be five guys dead. Five guys dead immediately, right? Uh, I think so. Right, so I'm just gonna take these three and these two. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna consolidate here. Mm -hmm. And this guy, uh, this guy will unleash the pain, so he will actually. He's got five attacks as base. Sixth because he charged, seventh because he got Helm of Dogs. And he will use his Slaughter Claw. Wounding, uh, hitting you on twos because he is not bracketed. Are you freaking kidding me? That happens sometimes. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, uh, toughness? Eight. So, wounding you on threes, rerolling once. So that's gonna be just two. So and that's two four ups because I have invulnerable save on him. Yeah, go ahead. So, so one goes through. That's gonna be D3 plus three. So four damage. Four damage. And no female pains here, so just four. Yeah. That was also not what I expected here. Right. Uh, so let's go with the Abominant. Into the current effects. Yep, into the current effects. So he's got, let's start with the tail. D3 bonus attacks, so that's gonna be three attacks. Mm -hmm. Hitting you on trees, that's for sure. Uh, toughness? Toughness seven. So wounding you on trees, that's gonna be one wound, and I'm not sure about the AP and damage here. And that's gonna be mm, AP minus two, and damage two. AP minus two, which means I'm saving on a four up. Mm -hmm. And he's good. And that's gonna be also, now it's gonna be 12 attacks with his tentacle finny. That's horrible. Uh, hitting you on trees. Wounding you on trees, at that, as that's only at the strength eight. And that is very terrible. A minus. Also two, I think. I like to scourge. Yep, minus two. So four ups. Mm -hmm. Oops. 
So all four is. Yeah. Beautiful. Not beautiful. Okay. So is it my turn to fight back? No, the Halverine can still. No, it's my turn, so you're fighting first here. All right. Okay. So. All right. So, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to pile in with the warriors. Uh, and I. Uh, warriors are not in combat actually with anything. Ah, yeah, they are with the uh, with the executioner, right? Yeah, they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. so sure, sure, sure. I'm gonna move I in here. That. I'm gonna move in here, and then I'm gonna move in here. Here, this one's not not gonna fight. This one will. This one will not. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys that can fight. Mm -hmm. Right. So first, pass the dread test. Dread now I will remember that you are passing this on three dice. On three dice. Yeah, and uh, discarding the lowest one on uh, minus two. On minus two. So again, that's an eight. Yep. And I'm discarding the yeah, lowest one. Yeah, it's okay. So it's okay still. All right. Okay. So that's I counted seven times four, twenty-eight attacks. Mm -hmm. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-eight. Uh, three plus. That's nice. And that's. I don't have any reason to complain. Two twos here, and that's it. Yeah, wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. Still a lot. That's still a lot. I will just roll those. Yeah, I'll just take them. Uh, minus two? Minus two. Minus two. So on five ups. If you can give me a. And I think he's very. Yeah, he's very dead. Will he explode? Yep! <laughs> so, uh, how does the little guy explode? Probably for D3. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, within six, suffers D3. So, let's go. Uh, the Tyrant. So two wounds. So two feel no, two feel no pains. Yeah, just so one. just one. Uh, the big guy. Three, of course, why not? And your warriors. Two, also. And they also have feel no pains from Catalyst. So mm -hmm. five up. Yeah. So one. one is wounded. Right. And he's a goner. He's gone. Okay. So, um, I get to fight with the rest now. Yep. So I'm going to fight with the Tyrant. Mm-hmm. And... The Is it, isn't he broken or something? No, no not yet. yet. Not yet. And I'm going to spend my CP on rerolling wounds for him. Will I get a CP? Hmm? Nope. Right. So he has his five attacks with the bone sword. For some obscure reason, I, I thought he has more, but I can't remember why. So five on twos. Mm -hmm. Rerolling just one ones or all ones. That's an important question. Hi, Tyrant. Um, Reroll a hit roll of one. So just one. And then the tail. It allows me to reroll one hit roll or one wound roll, so I can reroll both. One for the tail. Sure. And one for the lash whip. Sure. So two plus. Still one. Still one. And now... Toughness nine. Toughness nine. I'm hitting you with strength... 11. Rerolling wounds. Yeah, I go to hell. <laughs> um, okay, so, so three, three saves. Three mortal wounds. Yeah, and AP. Uh, AP four. AP four. Uh, okay, so no set. No save from this guy. Uh, let me just think if he's got no. He's got. He's got the diamonds. He's got the bow to none. Yeah. So that's uh, how many damage? Three mortal wounds and yeah. three epoch. 
three each, so nine more. So twelve. Mm -hmm. So that's painful. Okay. So did you count the mortal wounds? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. That's with mortal wounds. All right, and then the current effects. The current effects with its, I think, five attacks. Mm-hmm. Carnifex. Um, yeah. So the Carnifex will be hitting with immense strength because he has his crushing claws. And he has a rule that gives him one additional attack. Oh, only when it charges or heroically intervenes. So not now. So, uh, four attacks. On three plus. That's a poor roll. And I don't get any rerolls, I think. Or not that I remember. And that's with strength. Crazy strength. So on three plus. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so one goes through. AP. AP. Crushing call. AP three. AP three. So this one this guy got uh, panoply of the cursed knights, so mm -hmm. he's saving on two. Uh, so minus three, he's on five. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nope. So how much damage? D3 plus three. D3 plus pr three. So it's six. Oh, you have to roll it. Yeah, I roll it crazy. Okay. All right. Um, I get to fight back here. Yeah, sure. So I think the Exo Queen has three attacks. It does. So three attacks on three plus because he has four wounds. So three plus just one. Yeah. It's not meant to fight. And then it's strength seven. So on three pl uh, on four plus. Nope. nope. All right. That was Paralympics. And the uh, small guys. And the small guys. We have five guys left. So it's fifteen attacks. I don't think they're going to do anything. But yeah, six, there's just two ones left. Nine, twelve, fifteen. On four plus. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm just gonna pick out the uh, just one, just four, just four, and six, six up, six up. Ah, hey, there's one wound. So that's one. I guess AP no. AP one. AP one. So I'm saving on fours, and they got it. So he's on the, his last wound. That's insane. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> and you stole that objective from me. So I did. All right. So and leadership here. And leadership. And they are not within the sign-ups range, I no, think. No, they are not. So they have leadership five, they lost five. They have leadership four because they are oh. within the dread range. Right, so leadership four now. So only one. And... Happens. Yeah, first roll, if they stay on board, they do not. That's a bad roll. And you have minus one to combat attrition also. Okay, so... Four combat attritions. Uh, one one escapes, and yeah. then I roll for the rest. And on the one to three, they escape also. So that's two more guys. So three escape. Yep. So it's going to be the nearest three. And I will have two on the objective still. And I think that's it for my turn. So again, I will try to do the. Uh, dark storm of darkness action as we agreed due to poor wording by uh, games workshop that's my moral phase yeah so i will start it with this uh, carnivore and he will finish it by the end of my uh, no actually it's my moral phase right now it, is. it was my turn uh, but anyway i don't think it will change anything uh, actually it might change no, so I won't start it right now. <laughs> okay. Let's let's use the advantage against the bugs. Yeah, of course. Uh, so it's your turn. So wait, what, what have you done? You, uh, yeah, right. You got stranglehold. Uh, uh, do I did I kill any of your units? Not really. You killed the uh, Trigon Prime. But you killed like three of my knights, so I don't get the grinding no, down. Get grinding down. I get the stranglehold because I control three objectives. Mm -hmm. And I get two points from the primary because I stole both. No, I stole this one from you. Yeah, that's correct. And no storm of darkness right now, and no, and no grind them down. So we are in round three. Uh, so as you can see, my big guy is pretty set. 
big guy here. <coughs> uh, my second big guy will be pummeled by two Carnifexes, but I think he can he can handle that. Right, so we'll see, because uh, what I activated Fallback and Charge uh, from the Hive Tyrant as the new imperative. So the, the Hive Tyrant fell back, the Carnifex fell back. Uh, we are fighting still over there because I didn't want to fall back. Um, now, the, the new Orthrod moved in to smite into here, the, the ladies moved up here to smite into there. Uh, the warriors moved up to sort of get the objective, but they are not going to hold it, but to fight the knight. And these warriors moved up closer to panel this guy. We'll see what happens. Um, so, now, on to the psychic phase. So, as usual, these two units cast on three, mm -hmm. and I'm going to cast, firstly, Onslaught onto those guys, mm -hmm. through my synaptic links. Yeah, sure, sure. And <coughs> Yep. And I'm going to cast Smite onto this guy, mm -hmm. oh, and Jesus. it's a big Smite because I have plus two, four. Yeah, four. Well, whatever, he's on the last wound. Alright, does he explode? Nope, he does not. Okay. Um, so that would be her. Um, okay. Now, these ladies, they are going to cast Smite into him. Mm -hmm. Also on three dice. And that's a small Smite. I will Wait, it's plus three to cast. Plus so three? From them. Because one Jesus. Three. So it's still a 10, uh, and I don't have plus one or anything, I don't think. So it's a small smite, mm. and it will be for three plus d3. Yeah. So it's four. So he's on 10. Okay, and now the high tyrant, the high tyrant, um, he will cast Paroxysm. No, firstly he will go with Hive Nexus onto the Warriors to give them Exploding Sixes. Mm -hmm. And that's not a 7. And he's going to give... Uh, he's going to cast Paroxysm onto him. Go ahead. And that goes off. We will see. I will try to deny it. Yeah, that's a seven. Nope. So it goes off. So you're minus one to wound. Okay. Uh, okay, that will be the psychic powers. Uh, onto the shooting. So I'll shoot here first. Because I can shoot into combat. It doesn't have blast or anything. Oh, it does. So I don't think I can. Yeah, so no. Yeah, okay. Uh, never mind. But here... The Venom Cannon. Let me see if the Venom Cannon is blast or not. You're not in combat there, so you can just shoot. Yeah. What am I checking? It's late. Uh, so, yeah, three shots into him. Mm -hmm. Three plus. And that's just two. Mm -hmm. And then it's strength nine. So, so on three plus. So, so that's two. Two wounds. Uh, I think. Three, I think. Uh, yeah. Anyway, five plus. So, so four no, each. Four each. Oh my god. Uh, so that's gonna be eight more damage. Mm -hmm. So he's right now, I think, on uh, just ten left. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Yeah, he had twenty-eight. All right. Now the warriors. The warriors are going to shoot. I have all of the venom cannons there. Three D three. So that's five. Uh, you need to pass the dread test, or I will lower your uh, ballistic skill. Okay. Three dice. And now I will not. Three dice. Yeah. And it's below nine uh, or eight. Eight. And you, and yeah, you, okay. you passed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right, so I will be shooting the five shots into him, but one of the guys with the shooty shooty weapon is. I'm dying. Okay, you're not hiding. Yeah. So three plus. Uh, I don't reroll once because I can give it to myself, and 
and strength 8 on 4s. Beautiful, 3 ones. That's fantastic. Okay, and the uh, Death Spitters, so how many are left? 2, 4, 6, 8. So 1 died. So there should be 5 Death Spitters, so 15 shots. 6, 9, 12, 15, 3 plus. Couldn't be better. Yeah. Could be worse. And uh, five, five ops. ops. So that's just wow, one. Just one. AP? Uh, two. Two. So on four ups. Nope. So that's another wound. So he's on nine left. Mm -hmm. And so that shot he cannot shoot because he fell, fell back. Uh, the high turn doesn't shoot. These guys. These guys have two venom cannons. So they are going to shoot everything into him. Uh, two Venom Cannons first, 2d3, that's 4, 3 plus, uh, so all, mm -hmm. and 4 plus, that's 2. That's 2, okay. Uh, venom Cannons are not damage 1, so uh, nothing, both on Iron Shields. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Alright, and then the Death Spitters. Mm-hmm. So I shot two, there are six guys. So, so four, four left, 12 yeah. shots. Three, six, nine, twelve, three plus. Uh huh. Like that. Strength? Uh, five. So okay, so five, five ups. Uh, yeah. Just those, two. Those are damage one, right? Damage one. So I got plus one to uh, save, so on four ups. And just one damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that concludes the shooting, mm -hmm. I think. So, my charges. Uh, so, the Hive Tyrant into the big guy. First, the Dread Test on three dice because he's within Abominant range. So I passed it. Mm -hmm. And his uh, charge range is enough. Because he passed it. Because he passed it. Warriors. Same story. Three so dice. Three. Yeah, minus one. And they uh, pass it. Yeah. And into the big knight. And they pass. They make it. Mm hmm. Um, the two current effects into this guy, so the gray one. Uh, red, red, oh, red. red yeah. Also on three. Uh, also on three, because they are within the aura. That's definitely not passed. Still not passed, so that's halving my... Hal halving your charge, yeah. Thank God I'm standing close, and yeah. I'm gonna make it. Mm -hmm. And the other one, same, 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 same story, story, yeah. So I'm not passing not. this one, and then... Yeah, yeah. also. Mm -hmm. Right, and the warriors into him. Same story. And they're, and they're passed, yeah. Oh, sorry for that. And but that's, they yeah, that's enough. That's enough even with the forest, so I'm just going to... Not a single half charge this turn. Yeah. So here, 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 and here. All of them are going to fight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you cannot stop me. From nope, fighting. no CPs. So I'm just going to hit with the uh, two current effects together. Go ahead. That's okay. One is not bracketed? They don't bracket. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, five attacks each because they charge. If they have to. That's what they are there for. So, ten attacks. Three, five, ten. Three plus. That could be better, but I have exploding... Six, no, I don't have exploding six and no, you're only on them. So uh, three plus. Mm -hmm. And okay. three plus again. And three plus again. And that's dreadful. I'm so, alive. AP so, minus three. AP uh, with a sh uh, minus three. Yeah. Minus three. So on five ups. So ball goes in. D three plus three both. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus. So six. 
and five, so eleven. Uh, so he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I'm not alive. Did he explode? No. Because why not? So the Carnifex is absolutely brutal in combat. Yeah. Both in combat, in shooting, in freaking everything. Um, right, so these guys are just gonna consolidate towards the nearest target so that they are on the objective with all their power. Mm -hmm. uh, now the, the Tyrant with his five attacks actually uh, he charged so I'm gonna do mortal wounds in a charge. Will I get a CP back? Nope. So let's see how many mortal wounds. Three. Mm, so that's gonna be that. And where are the... Ah, oh, here they are. Okay. Right. So five attacks. Mm -hmm. Hitting on two plus. Um, pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Uh, wounding on three plus. Mm -hmm. Rerolling one. Just, you, you could one reroll one. One one. Or yeah, one it one? was just one hit or wound. You said before. I never remember. Uh, each time the barrier is selected to fight, when resolving its attacks, you can reroll one hit roll or one wound roll. Yeah. But I had sixes there, right, when I was hitting. But so you didn't have exploding sixes. You no, took. but I have auto wounding sixes. But uh, it's my bad that I didn't remember. So I. Fucked it's late, guys. It's really yeah. late. So, so reroll one. one. Yeah. And so two. Two. Uh, AP minus four. AP four. Yeah, so damage. Three. Three each. So he's on uh, 25. Three left for him. So the warriors will finish him off. Hopefully. They want. Uh, hopefully. They so want. Four attacks each. Yeah, go ahead. So six of them. So mm -hmm. 24. Mm -hmm. Four. Eight. Twelve. Sixteen. 20, 24, 3 plus, re-rolling this one, and uh, they don't have exploding 6s. Nope, not those ones. Not those ones. So that was a horrible choice of the warrior squad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and this one as well. Uh, strength? Strength 8. So on 5 ups. Oh, because you're talking about yep. Right, so five ups. And that's just two, four. Four, five. Five. Six, AP six, minus two? AP minus two. Damage? Damage two. Damage two. Die. Yeah. AP minus two, so five ups. That's exactly how much I need. Uh, I don't think so. What do you mean? You were on three wounds. Uh, four that's four, twenty. Yeah. Shh. So oh, that's not bad. And did he explode? Nope. That's bad. And you can hit me here. Uh, yeah, I can. No charge. So that's gonna be just six attacks. I will use the claw again on two ups. And on three, I think. Strength. Ten. No, Tough twelve. Six. Twelve. Tough okay, so on three ups. Wow. And that's gonna be five AP minus three, I think. So four and not yeah, four and anyway. So three saved damage. Uh, D three plus three. Oh wow! And it's gonna be uh, six, nine, ten. Ten in total. Ten, and he was already on four. So yep. he's, if he's not fifteen wounds, which is very likely, he's fifteen wounds. He's on one wound left. What can I do about it? And I'm gonna fight you back. So yeah. Three attacks still, but this time, being on one wound, it's on five, five, five ups. Nothing. Okay. Right. Uh, so what did you do this turn? So I definitely have stranglehold. You do. I definitely have the the mission one where I have to uh, hold the objective. So mm -hmm. I'm doing the primary. Yep. Uh, I forgot to do banners, but I get two for, for banners right now uh, in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you took like three knights. I took two big knights. 
one small one. Yep. Actually, two small ones. Yeah, because this one as well. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of points for bringing. Yeah. It. Okay. So I guess that will be the last turn of the knights. In a moment. Uh, okay, so uh, that was my whole movement phase, because yeah. as you can see, the situation is pretty grim. Uh, actually, forgetting about the leader leadership uh, modifiers here for the charges cost me a lot, I think, in this game. So, uh, I got two orders left. So this one will try to shoot uh, your current effects and maybe, hopefully, kill him to get some uh, points. So how many shots from the cannons? Three, five, seven. And it's gonna be five and up to seven. So that's not bad actually. And wounding you on uh, five ups? No. Toughness. toughness seven. So on four ups. And that is terrible. Yeah, it's just one? Yeah, just one on my two. So four up. Yeah. And so your damage reduction maybe just saved you. Yeah, because he will be left on so just one wound. On one, and I got stubborn. Oh no. So three hits, wounding your fives. One wound, two up. Bring it. Roll this one. And he's alive! Oh. Uh, okay, so stubborn here. Alright. So that's gonna be on three ups because that's an assault weapon, not a heavy. And wounding your fives. So nothing. So that was my shooting phase. I think we're done. I think I can fight you. <laughs> yeah, so fight you back. Combat. Bring so it. on th on fives. That's one. That makes it. Seven. Toughness seven. Let me quickly see. So powerful limbs. Strength seven, AP one, damage two. Bring it. So strength seven means fours. Yep. No. Uh, okay, so I will fight back with my six attacks, wounding, hitting you on twos, uh, wounding you on threes, rerolling ones. So that's one. So that's gonna be four invuls. Four invuls. I don't think I'm gonna pass it. Yeah. 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 So, he's, so dead. he's dead. Death rolls or something? Um, highly possible. Yeah, on a six plus. D3. Yeah, go ahead. Woo! Nope. Nope. That's one. That's one. And so he's a goner. He's a goner. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna consolidate something like... Oh, I can just move one inch. Yeah. So, doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so guys, basically, to not waste our and your time, as you can see, two war dogs against the world. Uh, so I think we will just bring this to conclusion. Yeah, we'll count it uh, over the camera and give you some summary in a moment. So thank you. Tyrant yeah, is one again. So uh, we just finished after third turn? I think so. Yes, I, uh, I think so too. So basically, as you saw, uh, there were two war dogs left. So after Twix's fourth turn, uh, there was one. Uh, we simulated the last two turns. And the final score was 86 for the Bucks to 24 for the Chaos Knights. So uh, let me start with my feelings. So comparing that to the last game we played, where I played the Loyalist Knights, uh, even though I lost again, uh, I felt like I had a fighting chance. So for uh, from my thoughts, uh, first of all, I need to remember about those leadership modif modifiers and all those uh, harbingers of dread abilities because I think maybe not that lost me the game, but. For sure, it costed me a lot of points. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing, uh, Abominant is, is terrible. Uh, it's 450 points in this configuration, and uh, I don't think it did anything. 
locked something in combat, maybe. Yeah, it didn't, it it didn't even card it, effects. It didn't even manage to yeah. cast spells properly. Even so. though I forgot about his uh, that you cannot reroll anything against him. I didn't. Yeah, yeah but I don't think it changed anything. It was the only knight that didn't score its favor. Because above me, uh, the, the Secretor scored favors, yep. the War Dogs scored the favors pretty fast, and this guy didn't kill 10 wounds. So, uh, for sure, I will be swapping this for the Rampager sitting in Deep Strike. Uh, Charging uh, 9 inches. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks a little better, a little better. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, almost a month before our GT in Bedgosh, so testing continue, we will see. Yeah. Your thoughts? My thoughts. So, I took some things that I wanted to experiment with. Uh, Dragon Prime was one of them. I can't really say that I managed to test what I wanted because he didn't manage to to charge. He didn't charge into the, the Helverins. Uh, but I think Chaos Knights are the only army who have the chance to halve my charge range. Um, and having the possibility to charge with him on three dice Against any other army, probably I would have made it. Uh, yeah. Question is, is he worth it? Because we did a simulation of dice rolling with 15 attacks, because plus d3 from a stratagem. But minus one damage from my stratagem. But minus one damage, so he did eight wounds to a Helverin. Is that worth the points? Um, he did have Obseg, so he would have stolen that objective had he made it. Um, so, yeah, uh, I still need to test him. But so far, my Broodlord with Gene Steers that cost like 30 points more, uh, do a better job. So that's that. I specifically didn't take a Malice Scepter um, because I wanted to see how the army fares without him and I didn't feel any difference. So the Mortal Wound output from him probably wasn't even necessary in here. Um, Leviathan and the Warrior Spam definitely is my way to go. That's how I enjoy playing it. It's really annoying to the opponents um, not being able to remove the warriors from the table and then with Obsec is extremely powerful. I'm <laughs> I'm very disappointed with the High Tyrant because he didn't really do that much. He killed uh, like three knights. Two at the, least. Well, he finished them. <laughs> you know, he, he didn't like kill them, kill them. Um, he didn't even do that many mortal wounds, I think. So... Um, yeah, overall I'm happy, of course I'm happy, but I've seen already some leaks of uh, chapter approved points for the Tyranids, something like 50 points for the Malice Scepter, 30 points for the Harpy, 5 points per Warrior, 5 points per Venom Cannon. I think all that needs to come, because the army is way too strong, um, and yeah, and you could see that on the table today. Third round, I have like half of my army on the table still. Uh, two hoverings left, yeah. so uh, it's hard to find an army that can put up a fight against the current turn codex. Maybe Tau, maybe Harlequins. Uh, no, I don't think Tau, because I play Tau also a bit. I don't think Tau would. Yeah. They are too squishy. You would yeah. just shoot them off the table. So maybe other turn is. I'm really curious to see how uh, the Leviathan, my Leviathan would play against um, Behemoth, Kraken, or you know any other variation that is currently in the meta. So, yeah, extremely happy. It looks good before the tournament, but of course, top Polish players will be there. So, it's not just down to the army; it will be down to skill. And I still have a lot to learn there. So, yeah, we'll see. And I don't care. I play knights. I just <laughs> want to play knights. <laughs> yeah. So some people just want to have fun. No, we, I also want to have fun. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, that's what it was. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. If you've lasted so long, then uh, probably you did. Let us know in the comments of what we should improve. Let us know in the comments what you liked. Uh, let us know in the comments what you want to see on our channel in the future. And you can even give us ideas for crazy lists because as you can see behind us, there is a plenty supply of models. So we can actually create some crazy lists if you want to see such a crazy Ideas in action. Yeah, we have uh, leeway now. So, yeah, um, let us know in the comments what, what, what you want. Make sure to like and subscribe and, and, and yeah, leave a comment to help us grow. And until next time. See ya. Thanks.